Welcome back guys. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. And today we're gonna to be talking about luck and coffee. What do I think about luck and coffee? Do I think luck and coffee is a good buy? Um, just know guys, I, I don't hold any short positions on luck and coffee and I don't own any shares either. I just wanted to give an overall value analysis of luck and coffee and what I actually think about the overall stock. So as you guys know, a couple years ago, this stock was trading around $50. There's a huge coffee chain that's based out of China. And then within recent, uh, Muddy Waters published an article basically stating that uh, Luck and Coffee was fraudulating a bunch of their financials, which ended up being true. Luck and Coffee did uh, fraudulate their financials. So what does that actually mean? It means basically that the company was falsifying numbers and revenue and stuff like that. I think up to about 2.2 billion yuan, which equivalates to about $210 million. As far as I know, nothing has been confirmed as far as how much was actually uh, you know, fraudulated, but they have not re released any updated financials. So investors are kind of out of the loop about how well the company is actually doing. And like I said, guys, fraud is never good. It, it tarnishes the brand name. It, it, it took the trust out of investors to actually put money into the stock. It got delisted from NASDAQ and now it's trading over the counter. So if you want to go on Robinhood or Webull, you actually cannot purchase any shares of Luck and Coffee because you have to uh, basically use a brokerage that allows you to buy over the counter stocks. Over the counter stocks doesn't necessarily mean that the stock is useless or it will never grow. I don't like that misconception. It just means that it's not listed on one of the biggest exchanges, which is the New York Stocks Stock Exchange. But just know, guys, that Luck and Coffee, it's in some deep stuff right now. I mean, like I said, it lost a lot of trust from it, from its investors. It lost a lot of, you know, even big investors, Goldman Sachs and all those companies dropped all their, you know, positions in Luck and Coffee and stuff like that. So, what does this mean for the stock? I think Luck and Coffee has a long and slow path to recovery, unfortunately. I don't see the stock recovering anytime soon. Updated financials would help so we can actually see how the company is doing. I know that they're expanding like crazy in China. I think they have something of equivalent of like 6,000 stores, which is good, but I mean, there's no point of having so many stores if, you know, one, they're not profitable, and two, no investor can actually see how profitable they actually are. And that's the biggest thing when you're looking at a stock you want to look at its market cap is the company company profitable when i first started looking at, at lugging coffee its market cap was like five to seven billion now it's sitting at around one billion losing over 75 percent of your market cap is never a good sign especially when it comes to investing looking at lugging coffee here in the long term i don't know where the stock is actually going to go but looking at the positive side companies have recovered from fraud before look at general electric look at waste management look at wells fargo all those companies got caught doing fra fraud back in the day and they all recovered just fine people still use wells fargo waste management still picks up everybody's garbage and general electric is still a pretty big company now it did take a long time for those companies to get their reputation back it takes a long time to get investors trust back and that that's the biggest challenge for luck and coffee right now I think overall that they're just trying to, you know, clean up the management and get investors trust back. So to answer the question, would I buy Luck and Coffee? I actually would not personally buy Luck and Coffee yet. And I say yet because one, I want to see what their financials look like. I want to see how much was actually fabricated and I want to see if the company is actually profitable. As you guys know, coffee is a huge market that's untapped in China. Most Chinese, from what I've seen, are not coffee drinkers. So this is gonna actually be a huge market in the next five to 10 years in China. Here in the USA, it's very dominant. Everybody drinks coffee. Starbucks is everywhere. It's super popular, but not so much in China. I know a lot of them like to drink tea instead, which Luck and Coffee does sell some tea as well, which is good for the company. But like I said, their biggest challenge right now is one, Starbucks is also expanding like crazy in China, so they have that huge competitor there with a big brand name and huge brand recognition. Luck and Coffee's brand is pretty tarnished right now. Like I said, they fabricated a lot of sales. They don't have trust from investors right now, so it's hard to gain capital to keep expanding at the pace they were before. And like I said, guys, companies can recover from fraud. Fraud, it's not impossible, but just want investors to know that it is a long and slow recovery, usually after fraud. People, even though the company is profitable, people no longer trust the stock. People are still waiting for a cleaner management so, you know, Luck and Coffee can get back on the right track. And so, 
I personally wouldn't buy this stock yet. I wanna see how they continue to handle the situation. As far as I know, Luck & Coffee doesn't really publish anything. They don't keep investors in the loop on almost anything at all. So most investors don't really know when audited financials are coming. No one knows really much about management changes or who's running what, you know? So it's leaving investors in the dark. It doesn't really make the stock that appetizing right now. But once I see that the company is starting to clean up their management a bit more, I see audited financials so I can actually look at them, see how much was actually fabricated and stuff like that, and then I would make a decision whether or not I would buy Luck & Coffee. But overall, I don't think the idea of Luck & Coffee is a bad one. I, I could actually see the company to hopefully recover and grow in the future. Like I said, it just mostly depends on how well or bad the financials are so people can get a gist of actually how well the company was doing prior to the... Um, kind of fraudulent sales and coronavirus and stuff like that. But with that being said, guys, that's all I really have to say about Luck and Coffee. Thank you guys for clicking on today's video. I really, really appreciate it. Please leave a like on the video below and subscribe to the channel.